over here at uh, El Dorado Springs, trying to get this kind of wrapped up today. You know, I I looked at these trees a year and a half ago, and I didn't realize how bad some of them were. Like a lot of these decent sized ones, you look at them, they got wire, hog wire going all through them. And I was talking to Dad yesterday afternoon about these, and he said he can remember when he was young, there used to have hogs out here, kind of a hog lot. Of course, you can just see the remnants of that now. Nice little creek going down through here, though. Of course, you get up here, you get low enough, you get into these birch. Anytime you see this birch growing around here, it's wet weather. Kenny's up there on the skitter. Of course, I'm lugging my saw around. Very seldom do we ever cut any birch. We don't have a whole lot of it here in Missouri, this part of Missouri anyway. Cherry right there. Of course our cherry's bad too. We just don't have much good timber in southwest Missouri. That's about it down through here. Everything's pretty small. We got some walnut to cut up here. I'll go uh, meet up with Kenny and we'll get the places for a minute. Again, let's uh, let's change job sites here. We finished up this morning where we were, but <laughs> as the old saying goes, no good deed goes unpunished. The landowner asked me to grab a couple of dead trees they'd cut and fell across their little ditch. And in the midst of dragging out the second one of the two, I punctured a rear tire with something. I'm not for sure what yet, but just to kind of add insult to injury of the week it uh wasn't too happy about it which it's nobody's fault if anybody it's my own fault but so that's always nice aggravating to, to have a tire go down but anyway this is at the the end of the day yesterday down here working on dad's job you you, you gotta watch dad uh, dad uh just kind of he, he might be doing a lot of something but he ain't telling you about it and he's still got several trees I've got to drag out. Now, keep in mind, Dad's 75. And Dad will come down here every day or whatever he's at, whatever job site he wants to work on. Saturday, Sundays, literally every day. And he'll knock out, I don't know, 2,500, 3,000 feet. You know, anymore, a big day for Dad's five, 6,000 feet. But like I said, 75 years old. And I come down here yesterday to... 
hop on this old thing to drag some logs and I've still got several to drag out. I've got some out there that are hung up. I'm gonna that's gonna be what I'm doing this afternoon. Because he's been down here cutting this morning, and I'm sure he'll be back here in a bit. So just uh keep me in the woods today. Now tomorrow I've got to go back up around Kansas City and look at some timber and tie up some loose ends up there. But for today, nice day until the rain gets here again Friday. We're gonna try to get this stuff done here like i said some of these are pretty good trees some of this stuff is kind of ornery firewood type material here just it ain't good for anything else just uh this timber up in here is not real good uh, it's just i don't know typical southwest missouri junk i mean you'll find some good timber in places but for the most part you can kind of see what it is of course the, some of this black oak the air's kind of hit it, and it's starting to turn a nice pink color on the butt. So uh, there are a few good butt logs in here. You can kind of look around, look through them. But for the most part, you know, you can kind of see some of this stuff here. Just, uh, like I said, firewood type stuff. But get to that time of year, guy might need a little firewood. Anyway, I'm going to jump on here, get this thing fired up. We'll try to get some logs out here on Dad's deck. And then uh, that'll round out the day. Before I come down here, I actually, from puncturing the, puncturing the tire, I went to the house and filled some logger threads orders and got them shipped out. We try to, you know, a lot of the stuff we get, the orders we get in, we try to ship out same day if we can. Now, it's not always the case. So if it's not same day, it's definitely next day. But we try to stay on top of that the best we can. So just uh, things that got to be done. So let's jump on here and drag some wood. The little red oak logs like this, uh, you know, they've got good clean butts on them, good color. More times than not, it seems like they cut pretty good. This, you know, anywhere from 13 to 16 inch diameter range, they just have a have a habit of cutting good. I guess if that makes any sense. It, you know, stuff like this. The first log, we'll try to try to get some grade lumber out of it, and above that, just be tie type material but the way this red oak market is right now uh, if we have to we might have to send it all in for for tie the red oak market is pretty shaky here in this part of the world we can still move some of these good butts but uh they're they're not i mean the red oak market's down it's blame it on what you will i don't know but uh yeah it's it's not as good as it was here a couple months ago which granted here in this part of the world i know always harp on on southwest missouri and southern missouri right here for our timber quality but we just do not have like the type of good red oak you guys got back east or up north and even northern missouri blows our red oak out of the water like i hear about guys getting 80 cents and a dollar and a dollar 20 out of some of their red oak butts i'm like my god if even if we had veneer type red oak here which we don't we couldn't even get that out of it so big difference just in your uh in your geographics on on where you're at and what your timber is going to bring anyway we'll get this uh we'll get this one bucked up here cut off and i think that's about got them right through here uh, it's just a young timber stand uh trees are few and far between on what really what the type of stuff we harvest i know if you had a buncher in here like some of those guys uh like you know, I follow Timber Timber Pro Joe on Instagram. I love watching Timber Pro Joe's stuff. It just amazes me the type of stuff that they cut and how they do it. I mean, logging's different wherever you go for sure, but, you know, Joe, he'd be in here mowing this stuff down with that Timber Pro, and I'd really like to see one of those in action one of these days. Just uh, just to see how well they, they handle all this hardwood and stuff. But, you know, a tree like this, we might be able to get a maybe 130 board foot out of that total tree there so really in this type of stuff your trees definitely need to need to run 100 foot and over per tree i think anyway you know to to justify coming out for you and your landowner cutting them but, uh, you know if, if you get much under 100 foot it's like on the oak and stuff i mean anymore i don't even like to cut the walnut if it's much under 100 foot because the walnut market they've really tightened up on the small logs which i'm thankful they did i I'm really glad to see that they've tightened up on that small stuff because that that's going to help sure ensure that we've got a 
a future down the road as far as cutting walnut timber. So, diff everybody's got a different plan of attack to it. Those are those are just some of uh, some of the things I look at. You know, when we're cutting timber, that way we can ensure with each tree, you know, we're getting a little volume. At the end of the day, we can have a pile of logs out there. So. Hey guys, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos.